how did you uh, perceive Dolores? Well, it's interesting because I felt like I was doing like this little messing with my hands or something. In today's video, we are presenting you our wonderful talk with Dolores. She gave us some really interesting insights about the event. Being in her presence, it's like we were three working as a team. Hi, my name is Andreas from Hyperspace Connection. If you're new here, please consider to subscribe so you won't miss upcoming videos about our hypnosis research projects. This is our part two of our research project, the event. To watch part one, the link will be posted in the description box below. If it's possible to connect with the higher mind of Dolores Cannon, as we could discuss, to a certain part, yes. Would it be allowed to connect with the higher man of Dolores Cannon to get a few updates about the event from her perspective? Yes, as it is limited. I understand. Then please reach out, connect with the source and ask for permission to have a few questions answered. Yes. She feels her. Mm -hmm. How could we have communication with her? In what manner would be a safe and permissible fashion? It is like we can work in three, okay. back and forth, as she works with her and Dolores works with me while working in a unit. Okay. Can you please challenge her mind of Dolores if it's really her and ask her if she comes from the light and love? Yes. Mm. Okay. I feel something on my right side. Mm -hmm. So can you welcome Dolores to have a few questions answered? Yes. I will talk to her. Mm -hmm. How is she doing? She's good. She's laughing. <laughs> very good. Mm. Well, let her know that you're very thankful for her work she did, that we are here now at this moment in time. So, can you please ask Dolores again if it would be okay to have a few questions answered in regard to the event, some updates? in her point of view or perception. She says, well, tell me what you want to know. And Very be good. specific with your questions. Very good, okay. So now as you can see everything what you did when you were still on Earth and now you're not here in, in a body, you can see it from a different perspective. What would you like to tell us as practitioners and clients about the event? What have, has changed? Well, she says that things have changed in ways that she could only see, but has gone beyond anything that she would have imagined. As there are things that were being told to her through different aspects, but now it's beyond what she thought it would have been. Could you please ask her 
how that event now is going to happen. She can't explain that. That is not her. What she's supposed to be doing now. Okay. That is not. This is not to be told through her. This is no. Well, then I have another question for her. Whatever she has taught us and written about, is there anything that she can see now that maybe change of how we see the event? She says that there are things now that she sees that she didn't see then. And what she feels is that the direction it is going can be in a negative and positive way. However, she still has her ways of thinking on how it is leading to. If she could have done anything different, she would expand in more on certain subjects. Like what kind of subject would she expand more if she would have the ability to do that now? On different influences that are here now. And there are very strong forces and ways that it comes through us as being a creation within us. However, it is also a part that we might not be able to comprehend as human beings. Well, with that in mind, does she have any suggestions for practitioners that will have sessions with their clients in regard to what she discovered? Listen to the clients. Because they are the ones now that are interested. And when you become interested, it is like a light bulb. And in that light bulb is a reason for development. And the ones that come through with information in sessions have something dormant within them a knowing that the information needs to come out in ways that we might not understand but in ways that many ancient ones knew and because of the influence within the mind as she would say, we create it ourselves, has changed the outcome of what is to come. So she, her point was that certain influences were just a creation of mine, but with her new point of view, um, she sees it different now? In ways that she might have not seen it before, or could understand it. So she might have seen it in ways of a creation within ourselves. And that is true in many ways as we create our reality. And that the mind is full of information, but in a way now that we have gotten to a point where we are connecting with different parts of our mind as becoming more connected together as a puzzle piece would be. And 
because of that, it is like a light bulb coming on. So people are starting to see this more and more because of the information flow now that's being created or developed within the mind and the outside of the mind as well. I ask her if there's anything else you, she would like to share before she parts. She is sitting back in a way of watching. So there are things that she sees that she would have not imagined. And the work we do when we go through this, not just with how she taught, but other ones out there teaching how to be in a state of relaxation, that because things are ascending more on a higher level, that the information is changing as well. And she sees it in a way now that she wishes she could have been here in these times to see more of what the eye sees in ways that it wasn't shown when she was in a human body. Well then, let her know that we are very grateful and we thank her for her feedback and update and we wish her well. Ask her if it's okay to come back in a later moment in time if you would like to have more questions answered. She said that she would allow the information to be here and to listen to what we have to say and is very grateful for the work that we are all doing in ways to help humanity. And before you leave this video, listen to about what's coming. We connected again to the Council of Watchers, so hear Heidi what she has to say. This certain being or whatever it was, um, was very powerful and was very careful on what it had to say. And don't forget to subscribe and to support us. We would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Bye.